Yeah, I am Abdul Ramesh. I am the Secretary of uh, Rural Development Foundation. Actually, we are working in this area, uh, this um, uh, rehabilitation and uh, resettlement area. When they, when they need something, this politician, every politician will come to the people. Right? In, in um, own places or displaced people, places, they come and discuss with them, then provide something, 5,000 Ethan Balam or something like that. This is the situation. Actually, my point of view, they are not uh, waste uh, these people's rights. They are playing their own. Can you tell us uh, about the history, the background of the people who are here, from where they came and yeah. where they are now? Yeah, okay. Uh, this is actually on behalf of Periyamadu only I spoke to you. This Periyamadu village started in 1954. They are actually coming from Bhattathivu. In that uh, that time, government allocated this colony scheme for uh, Muslim people. Then um, from 1956 to uh, 90. Uh, period they are living in this area suddenly in 1990s this uh, the political uh, 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 crisis or something like that uh, this Muslim people uh, uh, vacated from here and forcedly uh, uh, displaced from here and then uh, they uh, start their life in uh, welfare centers and other places in Putlam or something like that. In nine, 2009 period, later part period, they return. The, um, the war is closed and then uh, people can uh, go their original places. Then uh, these people return from their welfare centers and uh, when they return here, then uh, uh, they, in this area, there's no any facilities, so basic facilities. Everything is jungle, everything is, everywhere army and other people are there. Then uh, these people identify, little by little, they identify their uh, lands and everything. Then only little by little, they are clear, uh, these lands and everything, uh, with the support of others. You know, the early stages of uh, resettlement, they don't have any fa proper facilities. The government also not uh, doing any uh, proper systems or plane or something like that for the resettlement. Now, then uh, these people started their own and then they get some assistance from uh, the well-wishers well and other uh, local organizations and non-governmental organizations. And then uh, they are starting their life here properly on uh, uh, 2010 later part. Um, you know, when they return here, but uh, they don't have any facilities like uh, education facilities, health facilities, and also these uh, uh, livelihood support facilities, there's no any facilities. Then they ask uh, the, uh, uh, the supporters and uh, NGOs, then little by little this NGO support to these uh, uh, people to cal uh, cultivate their uh, livelihood, uh, edu uh, livelihood program, and then uh, they start their cultivation activity. You know, in 90 period, around uh, 550 families they are living in this area. Now, at the moment, uh, oh, 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 around 2,500 families are growing. And now, uh, only for, um, 450 to 500 families return. Others are not um, um, returned because of uh, facilities, basic facilities. Uh, so when the government or some other um, um, people provide this type of facilities to them, they are ready to return and uh, resettle here. This is the situation now with this in a perimeter village. In addition, what are the basic facilities that they are deprived of? Actually, uh, village area. In this area, uh, there are um, um, elephant and other animals also here and also this. Normally, general dispensary is here. There is no medical facilities, there is no doctors, there is no proper staff for the fulfill their need. So the type of uh, facilities, uh, me medical facilities, we have to uh, improve. And also education side, there are big school, but uh, there are no teachers, there are no students here. That's another problem, you know. All of them are in Putlam, but in, in this area, there's no um, students. 
So, Mahababa, when they um, provide all facilities to them, then the, uh, these people can come here and then study here. And also, they can uh, um, uh, gain the knowledge here and also they can use the uh, garment uh, resources also here. Say, for an example, when you say job opportunity, when they uh, live here and then easily they can get the job in Putlam, when we compare with this Putlam, you know, in Putlam there are so many people, local people also there, displaced people there, single Muslim, every people are there. These people, the displaced people, they are disturbed to the local community in Putlam. So when they give the opportunity to here, then easily they can use that opportunity and the opportunity and other opportunities also. So that is also. In, in, in other side, um, the other infrastructure facilities like uh, road and other places also. And also, these are uh, young people are here. They don't have a land. Then when the government allocated the land for the young, young people, then they can start the um, cultivation activities or some activities, some kind of activities. So when you uh, look at Putlam, there must be a new younger generation there, right? So do they have a need to move back to MANA and uh, about this resettlement issue, what is their stance on it? Yeah, you are right, uh, your question is good, but the uh, only thing is every parent, single parents, uh, uh, what do you call? like to return here, but the, the young people The young people, they don't know the situation here in the, in, in Manar situation. But when, when they get the chance or opportunity to uh, use the resources and everything and also, then this parent can uh, change the young, younger generation people and come. They return here. Uh, this, uh, this type of uh, scenario is there. And in addition, do you see uh, when it comes to young people, are they are there people who are addicted to drugs and things like that, who drop out of school way earlier and things like that? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I think in in, in Pediamadu area, there is no drugs or something like that. I think some of the places are the local items, the Kanja or something like that. They are. But Putlam, there are lots. And the eyes and other new items are there, and the, the younger people are using, the displaced, displaced people also are using that. We are on everything they are using. When they return, I think maybe it's, um, that is also change. Yeah.